want to show you how to go through directories and create directories and files using a Windows form app. So I'll go ahead and start with a new project. I'm going to call this one Windows form app. And this will be, I'll call it file maker. So go ahead and create this project. For this project, I want to change my name first. Just make it FileMaker. And then I want to add a couple of pieces here. So I want to have a label to tell us what our path is. So I'll go ahead and change that to path. And then I'm going to add a text box to actually display the current path. So you can make that a little bigger and make this text box. I'll name it my TXT path. Next, I want to have a back button in case I get somewhere and I want to use back and not delete things manually. So I'll just have a little button right here and I'll call this my BTN back. And I'll change the text to that. So it says back or parent back. All right, I'm going to make the button a little smaller. All right, and then I want to display the contents of the current directory. So I'll go ahead and use a list box for that. And make this kind of big. All right, and I'll rename my list box. So the list box is called LST direct LST directory. So there's list the directory right there. And let's start with this part first. So first I want to have this thing load automatically and do something. So I'll double click here and it will have this load form. And I don't really want to do anything yet, but what I want to do is actually take whatever directory is listed in my path right there and load the content so we can display them. So I'm going to go ahead and create an update function. So I'll do private and void. Let's do update directory. All right, so that will update my directory, and I want to use the value stored in my txt path. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and grab that. So I'll do string base dir equals my txt path, and it's going to be the text right there. Now I need to figure out if that's actually a directory before I display the contents of the directory. So I'll do but I need to now add my system IO. So make sure that's in there. I don't see it. So I'll do using system.io. All right. So now I'm back down here. I am going to now check the directory. So I do if directory dot exists, this will check to see if the base dir is actually a real directory. And if it is, then I can do all kinds of things in here. What I want to do first is I want to erase everything in my list. So I'll do LST directory items dot clear. So I'll clear that. Next, I want to put new things in there. So I need to have a list of files and a list of directories. So I'll do files. Actually, I do string files equals and my directory get files and I'll pass it the base directory. Then I want a list of all of the directories inside of that directory. So I'll do string dirs equals directory get directories 
for my base dir. All right. Now that I have both of these, I can go through and just put them into my, well, my list. So I will do four each, and I can decide do I want my directories first or do I want my files first. Um, let's go ahead and put the directories first. For each string dir in durs, so it's all the directories. I want to have a lst directory items add my directory and then for each string file in files I want to do the same thing lst directory items add file all right at this point I should be able to well, display things if I wanted to, but there's nothing that triggers the display. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, I'm going to try to do a little update thing. So when I first load, I'm going to do an update directory, even though this will do nothing because there is nothing in the base path, but we'll go ahead and do it anyway. Anytime that base path changes, I think I want to re-update the directory. So I'll go back over here and I will double click on this path right here. And so if the text changes here, then I want to do an update directory. All right. So at that point, I should be able to see things. So let's go ahead and run the code and see what happens. So I go ahead and I have my program here. And I type in c colon slash test dir. And I can see I have my directories and my files all there. Back doesn't do anything. None of these things clicking here does anything other than just select them. But we can we can work on that. All right. So the next thing I want to do is make it so that the well the back directory works. So let's double click on back, and now I have this back button. So what does the back button do? Well, I want to be able to go back to the parent directory of whatever directory I'm in. So I'm going to start with a directory info that's going to, I'll we'll call it di for directory info, equals my directory dot get parent parent. And I'm going to pass it the txt path.txt. All right. So now I've got this directory info object. And I want to see, is my, well, directory null? So if the directory information is null, that can mean either an invalid thing or it could, you know, whatever it means. Then I am going to, well, if it's not null, I want to have my txt path uh, text become equal to, let's see, actually, I should probably put this inside of a, uh, one of these curly braces. It's equal to my di dot full name. And then at that point, I probably want to update my directory just because, you know, it's nice to do that. It might have already updated it because I changed the contents, but we'll go ahead and we'll do this. So and we'll check that in a moment. Next, I want to figure out what happens if I click on something. So if I go in here, and let's see if I click on this, then if whatever is selected, I want to move into the directory if it is an actual well, directory. So um, I have it selected, and then I can do um, my my t. Uh, let's see, my xt path is going to be updated. Let's see, is the path if it changed? then I want to figure out what the selected index is. 
So um, I will figure out what the text is first. So I'll do string new path equals txt path dot text dot text. I want to do a txt. So now I have a list. So I get the list directory selected item to string. There we go. So if I find out when I get the new item and have that in a string, that'll be the new path. And then if that is a valid directory, I would want to update it. So if directory exists new path then the old path will become replaced so it'll be txt path dot text equals the new path and then i want to update my directory so it displays the new contents again all right so I'll go ahead and test these two things so first the back button and then checking the indexes so I'll go ahead and start this and I've got my program once again and I type in C colon slash test I can click on directory three and it goes in here I can press the back so clicking on it goes in going back clicking on a file doesn't do anything it only does it if I click on a directory but this is really about making files, right? So now I want to make files. So I'm going to go back to my design. At this point, I want to have a new label for creating things. So I'll put this label right here and I will call this label create. And now I want to have a little text box for the item I'm going to create. So I'll have a text box. Put it right here and I will call this my txt new. So the new item that's being created. And then I want to call it buttons. So I might create a, a file or I might create a directory. So I'll have button one and button two. So button one, I'm going to call this one btn file. And then button two, I'm going to call this one btn directory. All right. So button one is going to be for creating a new file. Button two is for creating a new directory. Now let's change the text um, for this one right here. And this one I'm going to say file. And this one I'm going to say directory. All right. So now all I need to do is just create the new files and create the new directories. So the way I do that is I'm going to double click on the file link right here. And when this thing gets clicked, I want to check what is in the new and make sure I'm in a valid directory. And then I'm going to create a new file. So I want to get my base directory. So string base dir equal to the txt path dot text and we'll just assume that's real and check it so if my directory exists base dir so that's a valid directory but I also want to make sure that at least the new text is not null. So I'll do and txt new the text is not equal to, well, empty string. So if these two cases are true, then I'm going to go ahead and try to make it. So I'm going to do a string for my new file. And that's going to be equal to the current base directory plus the new text. So I'll do a path combine base dir 
and I will pass in the txt new text. So this will create a new file name and then I can go ahead and create that. So do file create and I'll pass it my new file. At that point it could just create it but I want to actually see everything updated so I'll do an update directory again and so I can display it and see it. I'm gonna do the same thing with my creating a new directory. And since the text is almost the same, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this, paste that in there. And then all I need to change right here is, instead of a new file, I'll call it a new directory, dir. And then instead of file create, I'm going to do a directory, uh, create directory and new dir and then update it. So I'll go ahead and run this and we'll test it all out and see how it works. So I've got this thing right here. I've got my C colon slash test dir. I can go into directory two. I can go back in directory one. There's nothing in here. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new file. So I'll call this one file one dash one txt and I will click file and it creates the file now and then I can go and create a directory so dir 1-1 one -one, and click directory and it creates this and so I should be able to click on this and go into it and go back and not be able to go in the file so you can see this works pretty good um, the last thing I would need to do is just clean up my form so it looks better shrink it up a bit and test it out and there we have it all working a nice beautiful form which allows me to go and navigate and see things so i hope that was useful and will help you with your file and directory creation